Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are going to study the effect of one um, factor, one group factor on an interval level uh, variable. So our dv is the level of well-being and our iv is a group variable um, that here contains only two groups. So in other terms it's also called a dichotomous group variable uh, because there are only two groups, also called a binary uh, group variable. Uh, so we could deal with that situation um, using a one-way ANOVA because when we have one group IV and one interval DV, so it's perfectly um, it perfectly corresponds to one-way ANOVA, except we generally report a simpler uh, form of uh, this uh, Analysis, which is actually the same thing in this uh, in this situation, uh, and um, the simpler form that we report is actually uh, called an independent samples t-test. So let's perform that. Let's click on analyze. Let's click on compare means independent samples t-test. So here our test variable, which is nothing but our dependent variable, is well-being. And our grouping variable is just the group here. So let me select group and let's put it here in that box. Now you'll have noticed this two question, these two question marks. So basically what SPSS is asking me here, and that's why I cannot click OK, is uh, it's actually it's it's sorry asking me uh, which two groups I should compare. So here there are only two groups, and I want to compare control with treatment. What uh, we um, what we should know first before doing this analysis, and I'm going to show you that, is that this, uh, these are just the label uh, for the values 1 and 2. So 1 is actually here control, and 2 is here treatment. And by the way, if you go to the variable view, you can also see that over there. Right? So 1 is control, 2 is treatment. So I'm actually going to compare group 1 with group 2. Let me click on define groups, and so group 1 is going to be the value 1 and group 2 is going to be the value 2. Let's click on continue and that's it. That's the only thing that we need to do. Let's click on OK. Right, so it's um, it's um, it's an output that is a bit similar to the ANOVA output but um, it's well shaped differently but notably what is similar is that we have Levine's test for equality of variance and it tests the null hypothesis that the variance in um, both groups are equal, right? So that we have the same variance in uh, the control and treatment group. And here, we see that we have. Uh, I mean, we don't see that we have equal variance, but we don't have significantly different variances. So we can still assume homogeneity of variance. Next, here we have the t-test. So if we can assume of, uh, homogeneity of variance, we should follow the first line. The second line is actually a correction of the t-test for uh, situations where we don't have equality of variance. But here, because we can still assume it, let's see the first line. And so we see that we have a significant mean difference between the two groups. If I have a look here, I actually see that the treatment group has a higher uh, well-being level than the control group, which of course makes uh, sense. And here we also have the confidence intervals of the mean difference, so the mean difference that is here between uh, the two groups. <coughs> Sorry about that. So uh, keep in mind that this only presents you with the t-test, it doesn't give you an estimate of fx size. Right? So SPSS will not give you uh, Cohen's d, which is the typically uh, used estimate of fx size in that situation. Thank you for watching this video.